global sports leader, Bruin Capital, is lanced, launching as one. That's a new football agency that's going to re be representing about 300 athletes and coaches. And no, we're not talking American football. We are talking soccer, uh, international football, worldwide. And uh, joining us right now to talk about it is George Pine. He's Bruin Capital founder and CEO. And George, I was trying to figure out why you're launching this. And I guess it makes perfect sense if you realize how the valuations for these football clubs are going up. Um, it's where the money is. And it's a very different kind of system than the one we're used to. So it's kind of ripe for disruption, I would think. Right. I mean, the media values, club values going up. Players are a big part of that. Also, with the fragmentation in media, these guys now have uh, opportunities off the pitch that they might not have had before. So these guys are brands, they have commercial opportunities, and we have nine companies that work in every part of the value chain. Mm -hmm. So we believe we can add a, a lot to the equation. No, I was thinking about it. It's like Willie Sutton, you're going because this is where the money is. And, and, and right now, the owners are seeing massive valuation climbs. Why don't the players and coaches get their cut of it? 100%. And, then, and again, it's going to be not only in the salary, but it's going to be on the ancillary businesses. And we've seen a, a lot of institutional capital come into the agency space. EQT invested in a UTA, and they've made a big investment in the football agency business. Providence Equity and Wasserman Media. TPG was in with CAA. Now we have a French conglomerate. So this whole space is getting more professionalized, more institutional capital. So we feel great that we can play in the space and, and, and add a lot of value. Why don't we talk about the differences in the media value? Because that's where you have to go around and find new opportunities. Right. Describe the landscape well, so for we, us. So we own a company called Box to Box. It does yeah, a lot of programming. It. it does Drive to Survive yeah. for Formula One. Uh, we do a lot of Netflix and Apple and Amazon. And that's a whole new genre, particularly with social and digital media, that just didn't exist uh, 10 years ago for these athletes. So these athletes now um, can ha own part of an, a company, own their own media rights off pitch, and really do quite well. And so we see that as an opportunity to create value for them, but also for our company. I mean, that's a different move in the agency world, too, right. to be able to say, we're going to take you from, from nuts to bolts with this. This is not just about getting you more money in your contract. This is about going and finding ways that we're going to create value, and you've got these companies. I mean, I, mean, I was looking through box-to-box -box films. You've got Engine Shop, which is a sports marketing agency. Where, what other ways do you kind of work right. around so we, this? You know, we're expert when it comes to data, social digital media, webs, apps, streaming. Uh, commercialization, selling sponsorships. So the whole thing, consumer products and licensing, we work in every part of the value chain and we can really add something to these guys. So what do you charge for that? I, I think the traditional agent fee would be 10%. What do you guys well, we're, We'll be creative and we're entrepreneurial. And creative we'll, meaning we'll, higher? Yeah, well, well, we'll work with them. I mean, when you take a look at uh, Omaha Productions here in the United States and what the Mannings have done with that and the valuation yeah. of that company, they've done quite well, right? And what is so the valuation of that company? Four or five hundred million dollars. So, you wow. know, so that's an example of some talent uh, maximizing their value and creating value that didn't exist uh, before. And so we see more and more of that. When you look at um, Ronaldo and Messi, they have 500 million social media followers. Like, you got to monetize that. So the opportunities today for athletes are not the same as they were 10 years ago. They're quite different. Are you working with Ronaldo and Messi? Are you talking We are not, them? but I'm just using them as examples of, hey, there are guys that are global brands and have revenue streams today that weren't ex didn't exist 10 years ago. And we see that kind of as the future. So we see that as a great opportunity. And Bruin itself, we have people on the ground in 24 countries. We do business in 71. These uh, athletes we represent uh, operate in 34 countries and leagues around the world. So it fits really nice into our platform. Why, why international football? Do you, are you looking at other sports in terms of doing the same sort of thing, to be marketing and, and representing as an agency? We're in every sport, sport really in the world. Like one of our companies, we represent the most cricket players in the world. But look, uh, global football is the number one sport in the world. So this, we look at this as a platform. And it won't look the same today as it did uh, uh, in five years. So this is the basis for building bigger and bigger and going Right. I mean, it. day one, we're, we're in the top ten. We're number six or seven in the world. That's where we're starting. It won't be where we finish. And so we see this as a real platform. Think about this. In Germany, the top three sports in Germany are football, football, and football. The top three divisions of, of uh, football in Germany are bigger than any other sport in the country. So you're talking about something that around the world is a real passion point. So if you have 300 um, coaches and players who are getting involved with this, who are the biggest names that you're working well, with right now? Well, we have Bruno Fernandez. We have um, Lu Luis Diaz. We have the manager that, uh, from Manchester United. 
So we've got some of the top players in the world. We have 10 guys that have a transfer value of over 40 million. Um, so it's very good. Um, when you say five years from now this will evolve, is that going to include F1? Is that going to include, should I be thinking, American sports, American football, others? We're probably well? going to stick to football init initially here. Yeah. We think, you know, that this, this group right now is in 34 countries. We think there's an awful lot of wood to chop there, so that's going to stay as our focus. You know, it's the biggest sport in the world, and we think there's a lot of uh, wood to chop there. Yeah, I, I, I love seeing where you see the opportunities.